Howdy, folks. It's Leo Alderpold. Coming at you once again from inside my car, so apologies for that. And the reason being I'm going from A to B. Um, got some errands I need to run around and do. Um, but I thought I'd do a uh, quick VR. So I've come to a little spot I know uh, just to park up for 10 minutes. Have a cup of tea. Smoke a pole. A bowl, even. A pole. Smoke a bowl. And do a quick VR to Base Piper. Who has hit 250 subs, so congratulations on that. I'll get the housekeeping out of the way. The uh, more astute or nerdy, take your pick. However, you guys will notice that I am not smoking. My standard has become a standard for me. Peterson System 303. For a change. I'm actually smoking a Peterson System 302. Which is ostensibly exactly the same pipe, but it's the bigger brother. Um... I haven't yet decided which of the two I prefer. Like the 303, it's a great a great pipe for hanging out of your mouth. But it's a fair bit chunkier than the 303. And I haven't quite been able to determine whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing. Or of no consequence whatsoever. But in it, I am smoking something a little bit different for me, uh, which is Robert McConnell's Scottish Flake. And uh, this is a, a good tobacco, a good tobacco. Had, not one I tried before. I'd had, um, I'd had a different Scottish Flake years ago. I can't remember what it was called. Token Tommy knows it because uh, he gave me some. It's discontinued now anyway, but it was bloody good stuff. So I thought I'd try the Robert McConnell one, see whether or not it's comparable. And it is an exceptionally good quality tobacco, as one would expect from Cole, Cole Hauser and Cop. Whatever you call them. Very good tobacco anyway. So, Bass Piper has asked to nominate somebody in the YTPC who has... Um, influenced you or um, brought you up when you're down or supported you somehow, inspired you, made you laugh, whatever it happens to be. Um, in the period of time that you've been in the YTPC. And that, like so many of these questions, these giveaway questions coming out of the YTPC at the moment, that is a brilliant question and one which is terribly difficult to answer. Because when I first started this video, I was going to nominate all of the people that I see on the... Ah, there goes my post one. Uh, that I see uh, on my regular Zoom meetings who have supported me tremendously through this um, this lockdown period, this COVID period. If I hadn't have been for those guys, I think, you know, having living on my own, having very little human contact, I think I probably would have gone stir crazy by now. And those guys put up with a lot from me, you know. I tend to dominate a conversation uh, on the occasions that I do meet with them online. Partially because... Uh, Partially because I'm probably what we, what one would call um, low-level Aspergers. But also because I don't see anybody. So uh, at the times that I do catch up with people on the, you know, 
uh, on a Zoom conference, blah, 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 waffle on. <laughs> I have a habit of doing that. So thank you to all of the people who are on that. Ron Hardcrackers, um, brilliant guy, Hermit Piper, Cobbit of the Shire, Steve, London Calling with Simon, um, Pipes and Bees, um, and to Professor Jeremiah for organising uh, those Zoom meetings, which um, which have frankly just been just so, so good in the last year to just sort of have that face-to-face -face human contact. But the premise of the video is that I have to nominate one person, which which just, yeah, which is really, really difficult for me to do. But I'm going to go back over the entire period of my YTPC career um, to nominate that person, I think. And again, just an incredibly hard choice. But I'm, I think I'm going to have to go with my good friend Wolfgang. Vogie 73 as my nominee. And that is because Wolfgang and I have been friends now for quite a number of years. Um, he came to visit me in Exeter when I lived there. Um, I've been to stay with him in Germany, and uh, we've we've had a great time over there. We talk regularly, uh, regularly, um, and we always have a lot of fun. Always have a really good laugh. Um, he's given me a lot of pipes and tobacco in the past. Mostly just because, uh, yeah, we have had some really, really fun times in the years that I've known him now. Um, and I met him through the YTPC, obviously, um, but we've become very good friends in real life as well, which is just fantastic. So I look up to him, I respect him, um, and I also laugh my ass off with him, which is great. So I could relate uh, an embarrassing story, um, but uh, I fear it may be a little embarrassing for Wolfgang <laughs> uh, from my visit to him when we went over to, uh, when I went over to um, stay with him in Flensburg and then we did a bit of motorbiking around and stuff like that, went to see our good friend Björn. But the guys on the pipe group on the uh, Zoom chat already know that story, so... <laughs> But we've we've just had an amazing laugh over the years. So if I have to nominate one person, Wolfgang, you are nominated, my friend. But I will give an honourable mention as well to Timber Drifter, who I've also become good friends with. And I really hope one of these days I'll be able to get out to uh, Wisconsin um, and, and go and meet you in person. Um, but Timber Drifter, yeah, you've uh, also reached out to me a number of times in the past, uh, and I really appreciate that. But there are many others, many others I could mention as well. But that's it, anyway, uh, before I waffle on uh, and start nominating a dozen other people. Um, Wolfgang, Vogue 73, 73, that's my nomination for um, Bass Pipers VR uh, giveaway, sorry. Um, go and check out Bass Pipers channel if you haven't already. Um, I will put a link in the bucket once this is uploaded. I'll also put a link to Wolfgang, Wolfgang's channel, although I'm sure anybody who follows me already knows Wolfie anyway. And I will catch you all again soon. Take it easy, folks.